It's a beautiful morning. Wednesday, July 16th. I'm on my way up to Mount Jefferson. Pretty close right now. It's only a few more miles. I've got good reports about snowpack up there. I brought my skis. I'm gonna do some skiing up there. I know exactly where I'm gonna set my tent up. This is a nice little spot here. There's a clearing over there. You can see the mountain. Some bear grass. There's a creek running over there. I just heard a coyote. Pretty close, 100 yards away. Nice and cool last night. Pretty hot coming up. Let's check in with you later. Checking back here. We've been climbing through some trees and such. Oh, I've probably climbed 500 feet through these trees. Over there is where you see some patches of snow. And there's a creek that I've been following. It pretty much starts in here where these alders are. There's Mount Jefferson, as you can see. My goal is to climb up and go around the bottom of that little butte there. And I'll be pretty close, I think, to the ridge top. And from there, might be about a mile to my destination for the day. But this has been, been pretty cool. It's a little cautious coming up through here. I don't like going through dense stuff off trail because you happen upon animals. So I've been making some noise. Just going slow. Now I'm going to have a little snack to get me up there. Well, there's Mount Jefferson. Look at all the snow that's still up here. I've been skirting along the edge of this ridge. It's kind of slow going, tough going. Along the edge here. There's the top, but I know that it dips up and down and that butte through there, like right through my skis, to the left is a saddle that is where I'm shooting for. And just past that is my campsite. Turned out really, really awesome. This is fun. Well, I just crested the ridge. I'm on the other side. It's nice to see there's some snow here. My destination is right up there. And I think once I get up here, we might have some snow to ride on most of the way. Really happy to be up here right now. The hardest part to well, over. We're on the skis. I'm pretty darn pooped. Just have to get up to the top there. Hard to say what's on the other side. More of this, I'm sure. Well, I made it, and it just took about everything out of me to get here. Stomach muscles are cramped up, carrying all that pack up here. But this is the Taj Mahal right here, man. Everywhere you look, you can see for miles. You got the Jefferson is right there. See anything everywhere. Excuse me if I babble. I am completely zapped. 
and we got some snow over here. I was curious to see what was left here. It's gonna be my drinking water for a few days. Yeah, we can have some fun on this. Plenty of opportunities and cool stuff. Yeah, it don't look like much, but I came from way down there, all the way up that snowy ridge line. And here I am. Some cool shit up here. I don't think anyone's coming up here. I haven't seen any footprints up here or anything. Down there is, uh, that's Jefferson Park. I thought there'd be a little bit more snow down there. You can see there's a lake. It's starting to melt. I might ski down there. I might ski on that ridge. And I'll probably ski over there. I'm gonna go over there first. But I'm anticipating the full moon. Last night it came from over here. So I'm not sure where I'll see it tonight, but it's gonna be really nice. Fix a little dinner now. Come on now and celebrate with me. I've been carrying that for two days. That's two pounds of ice beer that I've been carrying for two days, just for this moment. Yeah. Well, it's Thursday now. I'm out on my skis. Left my campsite half a mile away from here and found this beautiful water supply. Wildflowers blooming, pink and white heather, Indian brush. This sure beats drinking melted snow. I lost my ski, but I got it. I found it. I took a spill. Gotta be careful out here. There's, there's nobody out here. It's pretty cool. Mount Jefferson. Just gonna go over there to the edge of that drop off. Then I'll be heading back. I think I'll go down the other side. Check in with you then. It's about as far down as I'm going this way because it drops off substantially. It was a fun ride though. Probably got about a mile to go back to my camp. Came down, man. If I wouldn't have taken a few breaks, 10 minutes. Lots of pretty snow left. Pretty steep. Couple rough spots over there. Well, my tent is right up there on top of that hump. And I'm right here. And I thought I would kind of regret going all the way down hill and having to come back up but it hasn't been a problem I guess I am just worn out from having that heavy pack on and honestly that was a pretty grueling crime uh, climb <laughs> so yeah I'm heading back up there I have a I have a full bladder of water that I'll leave up there awesome drinking water Again, this is just fantastic. I, I can't believe how awesome this is. It's just beautiful being here. 
This is one of the coolest trips ever. Yeah, I was thinking of skiing down that, but I like how my legs work right now. I just dropped down the north side. Conditions have been pretty nice. Coming down here to look for some water. A little bumpy. Trekking. Uh -oh. But it's not flowing. Pretty cool. I've always wanted to come down here. Earlier today I was just on the other side of that ridge. But this is just awesome. Ultimate playground right here. Hello there. That is a monolith. That is a ridge with a mountain behind it. My name is Kurt. See, I can't provide action video on the steep slopes, or I would be afraid drop my camera. However, I'm sure this is quite pleasing. Oh, here is a hill. This looks a little dangerous. This is how I slow down. It's dangerous because I don't know what's down there. See? Rocks. Rocks are bad. And this ends the segment of the action video. It's Friday morning, and it's quite chilly. Yesterday morning when that sun came up and hit the tent, it was like an oven in here. And now, it's quite comfortable. I wish I was still sleeping. I sunburned my neck. That's why I have this on. For all of you out there, chapstick relieves sunburn. The snow out there is dangerously hard still, so I'm I'm going to be heading down today, and I think I'm going to camp on the river farther down. We'll check in with you then. Well, I started my descent, and it's been pretty sketchy. I fell a couple times, and I just kept sliding. And I was trying to traverse, as I'm shooting for oh, the middle of that ridge. And then I'm going to drop over, and then there's going to be some snow on the other side to go down. Basically, I'm just going to be following this valley out. There's a trail eventually that I'll find. But 
we'll get some action video here in a second this is reasonably tame up here because it's flat really nice you know I wish the whole trip was like this but I was traversing steep stuff like that coming up here I'm gonna have to walk down that there's no way I'm gonna ski down that with my pack and we got a little hill coming up we might be able to capture it on film maybe maybe not There's some bumps and shit. We're gonna stop right here. It's kind of cool. Well, the descent was a success. Now I'm finding parts of the trail, finding footprints. I'm also finding some bear tracks. There's one. I probably can't see it, but about 50 yards up it's about where the snow started to end saw a bunch of bear tracks some of them probably from today there's a bunch in here there's some now they're either small bear or big cats but I don't see any claws so I'm thinking they're bear tracks and I saw various sizes so I'm making noise got some fresh water here beautiful beautiful so I was nervous about coming down through here but the trip was a success a success so far well the skiing backpack trip was a, was a success and uh, right now I came down this road pretty steep parked right here because I want to camp on the Brighton Bush River the road continues down through here which I stopped at because uh, it was a little nasty I, I could do it if I had to but I'll just park here lock it up and carry my stuff down to the river check with you then well this is the campsite down at the end of the road and somebody sure does like coming here. There's the throne. There's the sacrifice pit. A couple tables. What was really interesting was that the road had been cleared of fallen trees. And uh, somebody sure does like coming here and I hope they don't come here tonight. So I'm going to set my tent right there and right over there is the Brighton Bush River that's totally what I wanted to come down here and spend some time at I'm going to dip my feet in there they're a little tired maybe take a nap before that Well, this was just what I wanted to end my Mount Jefferson ski backpack trip. Right now I'm fixing some coffee. And this is all I have left to eat for my trip. Some veggies, ramen, and tofu. And this is like a backup of dehydrated food. So I was cutting it pretty close. But this is great, man old growth forest here dip my toes in the river over here felt so nice I'm gonna sleep just like a baby tonight this is great 